Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to my lovely video here playing RuneScape and I am here at the Taverly Dungeon and I am going to spend the next one hour killing blue dra dragons which are just right over here to the right and uh, first things first okay these are my stats and uh, if I, I, I could just pull up my stats right here but I put them on my PowerPoint made a screenshot and I put little arrows next to the stats that I think matter okay the red arrow my it is my ranged experience I am level 57 uh, ranged attack and really anything over level 50 is good enough as long as you can use rune weaponry that's good enough I have a rune crossbow that I'm going to use with runite bolts and of course I'm going to take the shield with me the anti-dragon shield so I don't get burned by their fire and then number two this blue arrow in the bottom right that's my summoning level and so I'm level 41 and that gives me the ability to summon a beast of burden is the ant and that beast of burden uh, is going to carry nine things out of my inventory so that's a nice little perk and last but not least this yellow arrow I have level 70 agility and this stat right here is the key if you don't have level 70 agility then it's just not worth it uh, you can't really kill blue dragons and expect to make any money or do any bank runs and the reason why is because the level 70 agility lets me squeeze through this little obstacle pipe right here and this is the entrance of the Taverly dungeon and just like that I'm already at the lair of the blue dragons and I can start killing them okay now if I did not have that level 70 agility then I would have to go all the way around this path and it's a long path and I would have to be carrying a dusty key and I would be going all the way around this windy path right and so I'm not going to do that because I have the level 70 agility and to me that is the key if you want to kill blue dragons and keep their loot and make bank runs uh, you need to have that 70 agility so that you can just pop in and out of this obstacle pipe. Okay, uh, so now let me go to this slide right here, and these are the key points of this video. Now, I'm not going to spend the next hour. This is not going to be a one-hour video. It's a video that I am going to spend the next one hour killing blue dragons in the Taverly Dungeon, but I'm going to edit it and skip ahead, and you're not going to sit here for an hour uh watching me kill blue dragons getting bored out of your skull but these are the main points okay number one is i am going to use the rune crossbow and the runite bolts uh thanks to my level 57 range weaponry number two i'm going to summon the beast of burden that's going to carry nine items that's the ant number three i am going to teleport to the taverly lodestone and bank items because the the bank is just south of the lodestone which happens to be on the way to the entrance of the taverly dungeon and point number four i'm going to bury the bones for prayer points now if i didn't stop to do that i might make even more money than what i'm going to make but i am going to take the time and bury the bones because you can make pretty good experience killing blue dragons and burying their bones and getting prayer points and then finally uh, it's the blue dragon hides that I'm going to keep track of and this right here my starting inventory is I have 423 blue dragon hides in the bank so when I take the final tally here near the end of the video then I'm going to have a bunch of extra blue uh, dragon hides more than what you see here and uh, then I'm just going to subtract the two and that's going to be how much money that I make uh, general ballpark figure is not going to be exact numbers. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and pop in this obstacle pipe. And uh, that's my pouch right there. And when my inventory gets filled up, I'm going to click on that and summon my ant. Now, let me kick, go ahead and kill a dragon here. And then I'm going to make one little lap. And 
you can see that I'm going to lay waste to this dragon very easily. Dragons are very easy to kill when you have the rune crossbow and the bolts. Okay, so the dragon is dead. And uh, so let's say that I kill a bunch of dragons and I have a full inventory. And let me go ahead and pick those up. And now imagine in your mind that I have a full inventory. And now I'm going to make a bank run like this. Click on the Taverly Lodestone. And I'm going to teleport over there real quickly. And uh, just a second here and loading the map. And here I am. And you can see my map in the upper right corner. I'm going to click on the bank. And so... Uh, if I had a full inventory, then I simply go over here to the bank. And then I click on the bank like this. And then I'm going to be emptying my backpack like that. And that will be that. And let me, let me go ahead and grab my pouch, which is up here somewhere. There's my pouch. Okay. And then that's that. And then I go back to the Taverly Dungeon. And you see how quick it is, right? And so... I have the agility to hop, skip, and jump over these stepping stones right here. And uh, here's the entrance to the Taverly Dungeons. And so I climb down there. And uh, here I am. And now, because I have 70 agility, I can go right through, the, right through that little pipe. And here I am. And... Uh, so my prediction is I'll probably make around six, maybe seven or eight hundred thousand gold here in the next hour. So we will see what happens. So here we go. And again, I am going to edit to the end of this video. But just know that from this point forward, I am going to spend the next one hour killing these dragons. And I am going to bank all the stuff, mainly the blue dragon hides, which are worth an average of about 3,000. They can even go higher, up to maybe 3,500, depending upon the supply and demand. So, enjoy the video, and I will see you in a second. Okay, here I am at the bank, and just like I promised, I cut out and edited a uh, the one hour video so that you're not sitting here for an hour and my final tally right here you can see is five five hundred and sixty six blue dragon hides and I put it all right here so this is my final tally so I started with 427 and it's an hour later and now I have 566 blue dragon hides so I made a total of 139 blue dragon hides in the hour the price in the uh, general exchange is uh, two two thousand nine hundred eighty seven gold pieces at the making of this video so let's say you mark it up and you sell it for 3,000 and there's also some other drops I got I got a few charms I got some salvages I got some other stuff and so let's say that you were to mark it up and sell it for 3,000 then I would say that my total profit killing blue dragons uh, for an hour is about 500 to 550 million I should have put a million I made 500 thousand not million 500,000 gold 500 to 550,000 gold in an hour. So that's not bad. Uh, if you're going to go kill some blue dragons and train up your prayer points and bury the bones if you enjoy it. And again, you know, the, this is uh, the requirements that I used or that I had with my character. I had Runite rune weaponry I had my summoning my level 41 so I summoned a giant a, a bull ant carried nine items and I just went back and forth to the Taverly bank and I buried the bones and I just kept track and that's what I did for the last hour so that's the the final score here and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it so uh, if you have those stats or similar stats uh, go ahead and go kill some blue dragons and knock yourself out. Have some fun. So, 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.